In this video, how to find your Binance deposit address. If you're looking to deposit some crypto into your Binance account, here is how to get the correct address for the crypto that you want to deposit. So assuming you have an account set up, we need to come to our Fiat and Spot account. So come over to your wallets and then Fiat and Spot. In fact, a lot of these pages are gonna show you a big yellow box at the top that says deposit, and you can click on that and it takes you through to the same page. Uh, but what we can do is find a specific crypto that we want to deposit uh, to make it easier for us. So if we just type in BTC, down here you can see Bitcoin has been searched for and then you just press deposit here. It takes you through to the same page as pressing this big yellow button, which is this one right here. Now, if you're on the phone, it's exactly the same thing. You just need to find your wallets and then the asset that you want to deposit. So again, there's a big yellow button in the top right hand corner that says deposit. You can press that or go to your wallets and then just go to spot account and then search for the asset that you want to deposit and click on it and you should see some options with deposit in the bottom right hand corner. From here though, and I'm going to show you on the website, what we need to do is find the network that we want to use and the network that you use can depend on where you're sending it from. From here, we have many different options on which network we want to use to receive the asset that we want to deposit. So I'll go through the different options here and explain the differences between them. So if you have Bitcoin in a different wallet, then where you're sending it from is going to be the important factor. So I have some Bitcoin in a decentralized crypto wallet like Trust Wallet. I have that Bitcoin here and I have it on the Bitcoin network. Because this asset is in a wallet on the Bitcoin network, I absolutely must use the Bitcoin network to send and receive. So the network that you're using to send and receive must be the same on both ends. Otherwise, you're going to have an issue. So I can go to select network and then Bitcoin right here because I am receiving on the Bitcoin network and sending from the Bitcoin network. Here is my address and I can copy this in now and then paste it into the place that I'm sending from. This is going to be a completely different address to all of the other addresses that you can see right here. So why would you want to use those? If you're sending an asset from a different crypto exchange, you may find that there are some other options to send the asset, which can be much cheaper than using the main chain. I'll show you an example right now. If we click on Bitcoin, we have many networks that we can use. I'm going to send in some Bitcoin from a different exchange like BitGet. I'm going to use Bitcoin here. And then the chain I can use is either Bitcoin, which is the layer one, which is going to cost me $15, or the Binance Smart Chain, which is going to cost 15 cents. What's actually happening here is that BitGet have my Bitcoin, but they are going to send it, uh, the value of that as a message over to Binance and say credit his account with this specific amount of Bitcoin. And that's what they'll do. That is going to cost me less money. So I'm going to choose BEP20 Binance Smart Chain, go over to this network and choose BEP20 Binance Smart Chain. And here is my deposit address, a completely different address than Bitcoin. We're not using the Bitcoin network. It's simply a message between these two exchanges to say, you know, debit and credit my account with this specific amount of Bitcoin. Now on the back end, the exchange knows that you have a set amount of value in Bitcoin. And when you want to withdraw it, you can actually withdraw it on any chain that you want as well. And so the back, back end stuff is done by the exchange, but that message we're sending from one exchange to the other is way cheaper using the Binance Smart Chain just for the three seconds that that message goes through. I'll leave a link to BitGet in the description as well. They give deposit and trading bonuses if you're new. Um, so check the links below for those details. Whenever you deposit anything to Binance, you just have to make sure that you're sending and receiving on the exact same network and then you won't have an issue. The reason for some issues is because there are so many chains to deposit on. For example, on Ethereum right here, we can have a deposit address, but we are not really using Bitcoin. We're using a wrapped version. So that is when Bitcoin is bought and held in custody and then an IOU is issued on a different chain. It's the same value of Bitcoin, but it isn't real Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. And so you have to use the same network to send and receive, and then you won't have any issues. You can get all of your different deposit addresses right here for each and every token that you want to deposit.